This is also a fun little activity. This is all about the idea of revolving a three, uh, two-dimensional object in the third dimension and how it creates volume. So all of these work out that um, you have this picture, kind of this white top and the gray in the bottom, and then this. think of this as kind of the x-axis, and we're going to revolve around that x-axis. And the idea is what kinds of shapes are formed when you do that. Um, for instance, this nice simple little rectangle, when you revolve it, it creates a cylinder, actually, is what it creates. And so uh, what I do is I create a number of different types of shapes to revolve around the uh, axis. And then you have got to go over here and find the guy that matches it. So let's see if we could find uh, a match. So here, here's our classic cylinder. Um, and so S looks like if we go back, uh, is there any one that's kind of the long and narrow? That would be this one, number one, I think, yeah. So it, it has the ability to um, make a cylinder. Now this one, see how it's got a space there? Well, that means that, again, you're going to get a cylinder, but in that one little area, you're going to get a like a, a hole that is also a cylinder. So it might look like, let's see, um, probably this guy right here, right? Um, and, and again, some of them you have to look at closely to see. And I don't know, this is a very fun little project. Lots of visual connections. And then there's a few more where I give you a number of views of it. And then you have to draw the 2D item that's going to get revolved around there. Um, great fun. This, I tried to find um, the, um, the website that these were created on. And it still exists, but it uses Java or something. And I, and I can't get it to work anymore, which is too bad. But we have some great images from uh, this work by these gentlemen. And uh, we can we can use this very fun project to to get the idea of two dimensional revolving to make three dimensional shapes.